and then we come out and we throw the long ball and Fuller makes a great adjustment to the ball to catch it and, and, and run it in and gives us a little cushion in the game. Uh, so, so both of those guys are, are tremendous players, work very hard during the week, and <clears throat> today it showed up on the field. So we're, we are happy that they made those plays. Romeo, how did you feel Watson played? And also, what do you think about him running the ball as much as he did today? Well, I kind of liked him running because he was able to gain yards and didn't get beat up too badly uh, when he did. Um, he's a magician. I don't know how he got out of some of that, some of those situations he was in, but he has a feel for finding the opening and being able to get through. And when he gets through, he gains yards and keeps the, the sticks moving, keeps the momentum for the offense going. And so, I mean, you can say don't run it, but if you say don't run it, then we're not going to move the ball. And then you'll be asking me a different question then. So I'm, I'm okay with him running. Aaron Wilson. Hey, Romeo. <clears throat> What did you think of the defense? You were, you were shorthanded. You had some injuries, and also you left Bradley Roby at home. If you could address uh, what went into the decision about Bradley and the, the discipline for him to not play in this game and uh, just how the defense responded. You had to put in a lot of different guys. We saw Keon Crossing in at the end of the game. Well, uh, the Bradley Roby decision was a personal deal um, that we made together, and so I decided to leave him at home for this game, and that's all I'm saying about that one. Um, as far as this game, I think that our guys stepped up uh, because we did have some injuries. Guys got banged up and had to miss plays. And the guys who were backing them up were able to step into it and do the job. And uh, they fought hard all game. Uh, critical situations were able to come up and make plays. And then we were able to win the game. Romeo, stack 100 for J.J. Watt. Uh, your thoughts on J.J.'s performance in particular, uh, that play that he made? Well, J.J. is a, a tremendous athlete, tremendous pro. And my time here with J.J., he's done a little bit of everything, you know. Uh, he intercepts balls. He causes fumbles. He tackles in the backfield. He plays the run. He rushes the passer. Uh, he does it all. And, and I feel really good about him getting his 100th sack. And as, as he said, he appreciates getting that 100th sack with a team victory. Christy Reekin. Hey, Romeo, what did you think about Will Fuller's work today and especially what he was able to do on that long touchdown? Well, I think that we saw today uh, why I would only take deluxe nuts for Will Fuller, okay? <laughs> because he made tremendous plays. He's a tremendous athlete, tremendous receiver, and uh, I'm so glad that we have him. John McLean. Romeo, when David Johnson went down, you played Duke more than any time this season. Did that alter the game plan at all? No, not really, you know, uh, because both of them can execute the game plan. And then the last game, you know, uh, we started getting Duke in a little bit more. He played a little bit more on third down last game and then uh, some on first and second where he stayed in after a third down play. Uh, we have confidence in both both guys, uh, even though they're a little bit different type runners, but they both are effective in gaining yards, uh, picking up the blitz, and so they fit right into our package. Adam Wexler. Uh, Romeo, late in the game, your defense had made a couple of stops, but the offense hadn't been able to get that final score to put the game away. When it was fourth and six before Anger punted, did you consider going for it there? Uh, it went through my mind, but I knew that if I punted and we could back them up, that going the length of the field um, would be more difficult than not making it and then only going half the length of the field. So I made that choice to, to punt and try to back them up. And similarly, on that punt, you'd taken the penalty, now it was fourth and 11, but neither of your gunners, including Crossan, were defended on that play. Does Anger have the ability to, to make that decision and, and call a fake and throw it? Not unless we tell him beforehand. And we didn't tell him beforehand on that one. Ari. Here we go. Can you hear me? Oh, yes. Yeah, very good. Uh, a lot of first down runs again today. How would you say those worked in today's game versus the past few weeks running on first down? 
Well, it just depends on what part of the game you're talking about. There in the second quarter, they were able to run the ball on us and uh, run, you know, move down the field and, and get a score. Uh, but critical points in the game, we were able to to bow up and stop those inside runs, which we felt good about it. I think I was a little little unclear. That's my fault. I mean, on offense, when uh, you're you're running on first down. Okay, so we're running on first down. I mean, sometimes you make plays, sometimes you don't. Um, but but the thing that I felt like that we had going is the passing game has been pretty productive. And so we were able to move the ball passing. So then you don't have to rely on the run. Thanks, Coach. Aaron Reese. Romeo, being shorthanded as you guys were today on defense, how do you think the rookies performed? Well, I, I, the thing about the rookies is they hung in there, okay? Like Renard, he played more plays than he's ever played around here, but he hung in, and even though he was tired, you know, he kept going. Uh, so that's the impact, having a guy who's willing to, to give the effort and line up out there and play. Uh, and that's what a lot of the backups did today. They just stepped in, and they did their job so, uh, so we could win the game, and they helped us win. Last question for Aaron Wilson. Um, you know it's early, but if you could give us a couple of health updates on uh, Charles Omenehu, what happened with his, his set of leg, and then uh, Brennan Scarlett had a, a arm injury. Was that like a biceps or a triceps or elbow? Yeah, he had a lower arm injury, and uh, and and they're going to take a look at it. You know, they got to get the X-rays and all that stuff. Uh, but he had a lower arm injury. Charles, the leg injury on Charles. You know, Charles is he's a really fast guy and sometimes fast guys strain the hamstrings. And so he's, he's got a hamstring. And so um, we'll work through that and hopefully we can get as many of those guys who got banged up back soon. Great. Thank you, Romeo. Okay. Take care.